This next section is an extension. It's not actually part of the Australian curriculum year 10. Not even in 10A, the advanced part. But it will be part of specialist maths in year 11 and 12. So if you want to get a head start on that, you can have a go now. This is optional. It's an extension. A tangent is a line that just touches a circle once. If it were to intersect the circle twice, we would call this a second. This is a tangent. It just touches just once at a, at a single point of contact. So a tangent intersects the circle exactly once. The tangent where it intersects is perpendicular to the radius. At the point of contact, the tangent is perpendicular. Now that's not called a theorem, but it could be. Can you prove that? Two different tangents drawn from one point to the circle have equal lengths. PA and PB are the same length. Again, that's not called a theorem, but it's something you could prove. A second is a line that touches the circle twice. If you like, you can think of a second as a chord extended outside the circle. Or conversely, a chord is the part of a second that's inside the circle. The alternate segment theorem says that the angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. That's a bit tricky to try to work out. Let me show you. The angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. What on earth is the alternate segment? Let me try and draw it for you. So if this is my chord, this is the minor segment it's on. This over here is the alternate segment. It's the major segment that goes with this minor segment. It's the alternate segment. So this angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle subtended in the other half of the, of the circle. I shouldn't say half, should I? The other part of the circle. Conversely, this angle here between the tangent and this chord is equal to the angle in the alternate, let me uncolor that in a bit, in the alternate segment. This angle equals this angle. Let's try some examples. Here I have a tangent and I want to know this angle here. Well, wait a minute. This tangent touches at the circle at right angles to the radius. So this is 90 degrees. And that means this angle is 180 minus 90 minus 67, which is 23 degrees. OK, so how big is this angle? Well, this one intersects at right angles and this one intersects at right angles. So, if this is 220, how much is this one? That must be 140. 360 minus 220. Now I have 90, 140 and 90 out of a total of 360 in a quadrilateral and I can solve that for A. By the way, there is another way to solve this. You could put a line from P to O. Then you've got two lots of this. Can you use that and get the same value for A of 40 degrees? And finally, an example using alternate segment theorem. Work out what BPX is, what's this angle, if BAP is 38. Well, BAP, this angle up here, is the angle in the alternate segment for this chord, which means this angle is the same as this one. They're both 38 degrees. In the same way, 
APY is 71 degrees, what's ABP? Well, ABP, this angle here, is the angle in the alternate segment from this chord. So this angle must be the same as this one. They're both 71 degrees. Notice that this angle does not equal this one. It's not the angle in the alternate segment. And this angle does not equal this one. This one is equal to the angle in the alternate segment, and this angle is equal to the angle in its alternate segment. Be careful.